Welcome to another edition of the Gridiron Report, brought to you by Red Raider Outfitter, the fans' favorite since 1975. I'm Jared Johnson. I'm joined by the mighty Joe Yeager. Well, I've posted a lot of content. There's more to come about Texas Tech football, just recruiting lights out. Uh, you know, they're top 20 right now, been in, atop the Big 12 in terms of uh, class of 2024 recruiting rankings for, for months. And, uh, man, they, there are several other guys uh, who are – who have told the coaches their committee and just haven't announced it yet. Uh, we're going to talk about that in the mailbag. Uh, so if you see this first, we will address some of the silent commits, not name them, but how many there are and all that. But I just wanted the people to get a sense or your sense for what's going on and just how unusual this is for Texas Tech to have this success, this type of success on the recruiting trail. Yeah, you know, it's um, um, what I like about the class so far uh is that I, I believe you got 13 hard commits yes. right uh over half of them are texas top 100 players yes seven out of 13. yeah okay and uh i've said it before and i'll go on saying it forever uh always give me a texas top 100 guy yeah period you know i mean you, those guys that's a good football player yeah if you're a texas top 100 so uh if you're in a position where over half of your class is going to be Texas top 100 guys, then you're going to be a pretty doggone good football team, right. assuming the dudes can coach, and they can. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, that's to me the most hopeful and positive sign that I see from this class right now. That's what I, that's what I like the most. Uh, now, <laughs> you talked about these silent commits, yeah. and that could totally change the complexion. Uh, if, uh, you know, assuming that it works out the way we kind of think it does, because right now the class does not have what you would call a true headliner, yeah. I would say, as of right now. Uh, Ellis Davis is your top guy right now, and I think he is number 223 nationally, yeah. something like that. Uh, number 40 in the state of Texas, which matters more to me. Yeah. Uh, so, so the dude is a good football player. I mean, Probably going to be a multiple-year starter right. on the offensive line somewhere. Right tackle. Actually, right tackle. Yep. Right tackle. Uh, so, I mean, uh, that, that's very good. But, I mean, this is not what you would call a, a classic uh, headliner, you know, um, uh, like in college basketball, McDonald's right. All-American sort of a guy, national top 50. But that may be coming before too long. Right. Right. And once that happens, this class goes – uh, from being very, very solid, a winning sort of a class, to one that could take you to the very highest level. I agree, and I, I, we won't beat around the bush because there's already a bunch of uh, stories out there. Uh, 247 national recruiting writers have put in crystal ball predictions for Texas Tech. Name a recruiting ranking service, 247 rivals, whatever. They have Micah Hudson five-star receiver, top 10 national prospect according to the composite, all the recruiting ranking services, uh, and perhaps the top player in Texas, uh, they have him going to Texas Tech. And you know, if that were to happen just right now, the way the rankings, I did the class calculator, which you could check out on Inside the Red Raiders in the recruiting rankings, it's a drop down tab. Uh, that would just, Micah alone, not the other four or five uh, silent commits, would vault Texas Tech's national class from 19th to 12th. So. That puts it in perspective, and there's at least a couple other four-star guys who I know have already committed too. So, uh, yeah, they're. That's why I've been trying to tell people. I said in a video, it's actually better. Tech, the state of Texas Tech football right now and recruiting, which I believe is the most accurate reflection of any sports program, uh, it's actually better right now than the results we currently have and that we're seeing for a number of reasons. Uh, and man, they're going to win big because of it. I mean, that's just the bottom line. It seems inevitable to me. And now I've got a question for you in terms of ranking. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know, we know that the number of recruits yeah. is factored into the rankings. All right. Yep. So uh, if you were to take that factor out, would that help or hurt Texas Tech's overall ranking? You know? Yeah, it would help in the long run. Right now, we're seeing an accurate reflection because Tech actually has a lot of commits. But by the time December rolls around and a lot of guys have decided and signed and then of course by February by the regular signing period when things are really done. I mean I expect this to be a top 25 class and without a doubt it's going to be the highest average ranking per recruit. I mean they're going to have like you said half the at least half of the commits are going to be like Texas top 100. They're going to have a dozen of the best players in Texas signing with Texas Tech from this class where that used to be four or five classes to get that many guys of that caliber. So 
Uh, I think you have to delve a little deeper than just the overall ranking, yeah. but it does show something. It does show what they're doing. So, and I think that's something that everyone can grasp, even not the diehards like most of y'all on Inside the Red Raiders are. But uh, yeah, great class, uh, great sign of things to come in the future. And I'm really excited to be able to be this optimistic. If you can't tell, and you can't tell about Texas Tech football, finally. Uh, but Mighty Joe, great stuff from you as always. Thank you all for watching, and until next time.